concerns about repealing the Affordable Care Act in the future. The group Disability Rights Oregon says the replacement bill would roll back the Medicaid expansion and decimate the entire program. We spoke to a Tigard family who wanted to share their story. Luke Sang is like any other kid, except he's not. He's 29 years old. Luke loves basketball. I mean, he loves the Blazers, but he also really loves the Globetrotters. Luke was diagnosed with fragile X syndrome, an autistic like syndrome, one that his mother says requires extra care. Looking at his evaluation of what his needs are, it's pretty much a 24 7. Trudy tells me Luke functions like a three year old, and she's thankful for the help she gets with Medicaid. The health plan helps pay for services for people with intellectual, physical, or mental disabilities. For Luke, that means being a part of a group program and one-on-one -on -one care with the caregiver. He is a very social guy, which means he has no stranger danger. Secondly, um, he doesn't have tons of vocabulary, so to advocate for himself or say something's wrong or he needed something, is pretty difficult. Trudy worries that if the Affordable Care Act gets repealed, it would mean more hardships for this family. She says they've already cut 100 program hours each month. It's not like we're not trying and that we're not trying to own our responsibilities, but we really, it really helps to have the support. But the biggest concern for this family is Luke's future. We're at a point in our life is going, okay, what's going to happen with Luke down the road? You know, he's younger than us and his health is good enough that we don't want it shouldered onto our kid. Thank you.